الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ومن آياته الليل والنهار وشمس والقمر لا تشهد للشمس ولا للقمر واشهد لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى سير في كتابه الكريم ومن آياته الليل والنهار and from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the night and the day وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَالشَّمْسُ الْقَمْرِ and the sun and the moon and do not prostrate to the sun or the moon but prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created them and kuntum if it is him you worship subhanahu so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us that from the, the ayat koniya these are the signs in the creation and signs what do they do they show you something ayat koniya they show you they are evidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists that he is the creator al khaliq al razik the sustainer of everything, Subhana, which is a part of his lordship. In this ayat as well, it shows us al uluhiya. It is dalil for uluhiya. Women ayati al layla wa nahar wa shamsu al qamr la tasjidu li shams. Allah is prohibiting that you make sujood to the sun. Look, look at this creation. Subhanallah, these mountains, these uh, ferns, these trees. These are the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. He created these for, as a, a, a means of reflection for you. Because he said, min ayati, women ayati, and from his signs is the sun and the moon. Likewise, all of these things are from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, do not prostrate to them because we can look at the wonders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and begin to think, magnify their magnificence and forget the one who created them or attribute this magnificence to the Big Bang Theory or something, some other theory or hypothesis which in fact does not exist but instead it's from Allah Azza wa Jal if it is Him who you worship so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clarifying his signs that the signs are within the creation to reflect upon he's negating false worship which is shirk and he's affirming tawheed al-ibadah wasjidu lillahi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and prostrate to Allah If it is him you truly worship. So letting, this is for the challenge of the believer. If it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you truly worship. Then of course you're going to see the beauty in this creation. But see that it's here to reflect upon. Not to worship. Not to get distracted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in fact it should bring you closer. And kuntum sadiqin. If you are truthful. And, and, and if it's him you truly worship. Subhana. So these signs are for the believer to actualize the ibadah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So we know that our divine purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as believers, we use these signs to reflect, to meditate, to come closer to Allah, to remind us to make dhikr, to supplicate more to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And kuntum iyahu ta'abudun, if it is Him you truly worship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahli Ibad and Ahli Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.